afternoon and welcome to Photokina and Panasonic's press conference here in Cologne. Herzlich willkommen. My name is Patrice Buidibeda and I will be your host for today. Although some of you might recognize me more if I do this. I just love that to do it. In all seriousness, um, I must say I'm very honored to be part of this Panasonic campaign as uh, the Lumix G um, is definitely pushing photography forward and this is so far my favorite tool, my favorite toy, we actually a couple. Well, Panasonic is changing photography and uh, what better demonstration of this is the GH4 as I just announced here and I'm very delighted to say that today at Photokina, Panasonic will be unveiling some more truly innovative new products for the first time. I know that they are going to excite you so please make sure that you stay around until the end of our presentation today to get them all. And just uh, before we begin, please also remember to hang on these Panasonic cards uh, because uh, you'll need those at the end to exchange them against uh, a 4, 4K SD card with the press fit on it. So to kick off proceedings today, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Nishikatsu Matsushita, Managing Director, Panasonic Consumer Marketing of Europe. And Mr. Matsushita is going to give you an overview of the importance of digital imaging to Panasonic's European consumer business he will explain Panasonic's role in the European imaging market and how it is in continuing to drive innovation in the industry as we saw earlier in the year with the GH4. Blurring the lines between consumer and professional users and between videography and the photography. So please join me in, in welcoming Mr. Matsushita to the stage. Good morning. Thank you, thank you, Padres. Hello everybody and welcome to Cologne. Uh, today I'm going to provide you with an overview of the current state of the digital imaging sector, uh, where Panasonic fits within it, and the key, key trends shaping our market strategy. Uh, the landscape is changing. More and more consumers are looking to capture images using a wider variety of devices than before. Uh, from traditional point and shoot compact cameras to untraditional photography devices such as tablets and smartphones, which are now becoming the norm for the average man on the street. Because of this, many would argue that the digital imaging market is shrinking. However, it's not shrinking, it's evolving. A number of trends shape this evolution. Predominantly, we are seeing a change in the way our customers are taking images. This has been brought about by three notable trends. The first trend sees a steadily growing section of the ambitious amateur photography market, turning to DSLM. Since the beginning of the calendar year, the DSLM market has grown more than 20% in the Euro 5. This is likely due to step up amateur are increasingly seeking high quality photographs. As a result, they don't want to carry around a large weighty camera, nor one that requires heavy lenses. At, this, at the same time, they're aiming for an excellent output that not only looks good when you play it on their 15-inch mirror TV screen, but also in larger prints or other formats where sharp and high quality photos make a difference. Another group increasingly using DSLM are people like you, the professionals. The features such as a silent shutter and wider range of lenses see the DSLM succeed over the DSLR. And we are seeing this trend in our sales spheres. Panasonic is leading the market for the DSLM category with 26.2% share in the UK and solid and growing number two position across the Euro 5 markets. Overall, we see extremely good results selling through the photo specialist retail route where we leave the market. The second trend is a growing demand for high value compact cameras for those who want to take good quality photos on the moon. As a result, fixed range cameras with large zooms with these requirements and Panasonic's performing well in this sector. A market leader with 31.1% in value, the sector has also grown double digit in the last quarter. And in terms of regional coverage for the overall compact camera market, we have seen particularly strong results in Germany and France, 
leading the industry with 25.3% and 21.1% market share, respectively. Overall, we are challenging the market leading position in Europe in this category. And finally, the third trend. As I mentioned at the beginning, consumers are increasingly turning their backs on entry-level compact cameras in favor of smartphones and other and traditional devices. This mainly concerns those who want to take more reactive shots, what you could call see and shoot moments, and they're happy to use a smartphone or tablet to do that. In addition, they want to be able to upload their photos instantly to social media platforms. <laughs> How is Panasonic responding? In Europe, about 20% of our overall consumer business revenues come from the digital imaging market. To ensure we are servicing the consumer market properly, our effort in R&D, as well as the international new products within this product category, which you will see later on, will provide proof of our understanding of the market requirements. We also consistently launch high quality and high, highly innovative technologies, many of them world first. Let me give you a few examples. The launch of Mix G1 back in 2008 saw the first digital interchangeable lens camera system to use a micro four third system standard. We also have a wide DSM offering with a large lineup of lenses and bodies, enabling us to enhance and expand the market in terms of technical innovations. And just three months ago, we launched the FZ1000, the world's first compact camera with 4K recording capabilities. Panasonic remains at the forefront of technology innovation for the digital camera market, enabling us to maintain a solid market share while pushing the boundaries of innovation to help shape and strengthen the market for the benefit of both consumers and prosumers. I will leave it to my colleague, Mr. Sugita, to talk about Panasonic's global strategy for the digital imaging market today and in the coming years. I also hope our new lineup for 2014 will excite you and inspire the discussions about the future of digital photography and videography. Thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. It's clear the digital imaging market is uh, evolving and changing at a fast pace. Panasonic has demonstrated in recent years that it's leading the way, as we can see in the DSLSM market, and with 4K. It is really changing photography with its innovations. But I'm sure you're keen to learn how Panasonic continues to innovate and drive ongoing change in the imaging market. Well, let me welcome on stage Mr. Takuya Zugita, Director of the Imaging Network Business Division and Vice President of ABC Networks Company. Mr. Zugita will introduce you to the way how Panasonic is redefining itself in the current imaging age. He will outline Panasonic's latest strategic aims and based on the projected market evolution, explain Panasonic's key technologies 4K and beyond, so we can truly see what the future holds. Mr. Sugita, the stage is yours. Thank you very much for attending the Panasonic Lumix Press Conference. My name is Takuya Sugita, in charge of Panasonic's imaging business. Let me introduce our imaging business strategy focusing on Lumix cameras. Since we entered into the camera industry in 2001, we have developed unique products under the vision of create a new photo culture. In order to implement this vision, we set the theme of changing photography. Street photography is to capture creative photos from scenes in our everyday lives. Hybrid photography is about providing dual shooting options such as still picture shooting alongside motion picture capture. Looking back on our development history, Lumix has been always an innovator in camera industry and developed many industry firsts such as OIS, 
high zoom in combat cameras, and many, many more. Fifty years after the development of SLR cameras with a quick return mirror system, we developed the world's first mirrorless system with full-time live view in 2008. Since then, we have been promoting micro forces system cameras, and our lens lineup has expanded to 23 models. Our DSLM Lumix G series realizes excellent picture quality in a compact and lightweight body as well as perfect usability so that everyone can operate it easily, no matter what your skill level. With the advantage of mirrorless structure, we have also been able to develop a wide variety of innovative video shooting functionalities. Six years have passed since we introduced the first mirrorless camera, the technical feedback we have received from mirrorless cameras has been phenomenal. Today, the trend is all towards mirrorless. A wide number of new models with cutting-edge technologies have been introduced in the mirrorless format, and the user shooting style is changing rapidly. The mirrorless format is continuing to expand very quickly and it should take a majority share of the market in, in the near future. Among these mirrorless cameras, our GM1, which was introduced last year, and the GH4 introduced this spring, both received excellent evaluation and reviews. We are very grateful to you for the number of hours for these models have received. The Lumix G series is supported by an optimum combination of lens, sensor, and engine technologies, making full use of these technologies in perfect harmony. The Lumix G series realizes the best performance. As for lens technology, our factory in Yamagata, Japan, is producing high-quality and high-performance aspherical glass mold lenses from small to large sizes. Our multi-coating lens with non-surface coating technology dramatically reduces reflection and realizes the best picture representation. On top of these high-level te technologies, we also have a, our te technical collaboration with Leica. With a perfect combination of these technologies, we are producing extremely high-quality lenses. Furthermore, the autofocus system of the mirrorless format also has higher focusing accuracy compared to the phase detection A of DSLR. The Lumix G series has been able to realize high speed AF at the same time as maintaining focusing accuracy. We have de developed a very innovative new AF system called Depth from Defocus. This technology can meet the strength requirement of professional users and improve photo shooting operation dramatically. For many years, Panasonic has been the top sponsor and broadcasting equipment supplier for the Olympic Games. We have renewed this contract until 2024, including Tokyo Olympics Games. High quality video technologies from professional video equipment have been incorporated in our Lumix models. With our long and very successful heritage in AV technology, we have also been able to seamlessly realize 4K video in our imaging products. The 4K video recording capabilities of GH4 have been utilized by many professional users 
for example, cinema photo production and shooting for special events, such as fashion show catwalks, which require perfect picture quality. At this year's photo kina, we are showing our GH4 4K solution in our booth, so please don't miss it. Now, let me introduce this year's changing photography focus. One is 4K. The other is seamless communication. We believe that these technologies will create a new demand in the market. 4K technology is not only for video, however. The high-speed data processing technology will also contribute greatly to improve photo quality. Today, we would like to propose 4K photo as a new photo shooting style to create a new photo culture. 4K video is very attractive technology, not only for professional cinema producers, but also for photo enthusiasts like many of you here today. 4K video recording is continuous capture at 30 or 25 frames per second. Each frame has an 8.3 megapixel resolution, which is equivalent to the resolution of DSLR of several years ago. You will never miss the per perfect shooting opportunity thanks to high-speed continuous shooting. We have named it 4K Photo, and we propose is a it as a new shooting style. As we know, we all know, seeing is believing, so please watch this video showing the benefits of 4K photo. Very shortly today. 
We have introduced the benefits of 4K photo. However, we believe that capturing still picture technology from motion video can be further improved. We will include, increase the image capturing frame rate to 60 frames per second in the near future. Additionally, towards the Tokyo Olympic Games in 2020, 8K video will be prepared. So we will lead the development of 8K technology for providing much higher resolution pictures. We will be able to get four times higher resolution compared with 4K. So we can get 33 megapixel pictures from 8K video. Now, I would like to propose one more new shooting style. Today, due to the rapid the expansion of social media, the opportunity for sharing our photos has increased dramatically. 500 million photos are now shared by the crowd every day. Increasingly, people are looking to improve the quality of the images they can share via social media. To meet these requirements, we have developed a variety of communication functions in our cameras, such as Wi-Fi and NFC. Most of our cameras are already connected. Now, we would like to enhance our wireless communication technology to the next stage. Today, we propose an advanced communication camera, which will enable us to share extremely high quality pictures anytime, anywhere. Sebastian will introduce it later on, so please don't miss it. Six years has passed since Lumix launched the world's first mirrorless camera. We have been developing unique technologies and key devices for mirrorless cameras based on optical and digital technologies. We have applied more than 300 patents for mirrorless camera systems. Lumix will further evolve as the pioneer of the imaging industry, aiming the mirrorless number one. We are committed to the next stage of changing photography powered by 4K and wireless communication. We will continue our quest to create a new photo culture. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Sukita. Well, these are truly exciting times, um, aren't they? With 4K and uh, so many possibilities for videography and photography and all the different production stages in between. At the same time, for me as a photographer, it's uh, great to see how Lumix G is further innovating. Well, all this talk has really gotten excited about Panasonic's new imaging product lineup. I know the man who can actually help me out there, who's actually going to help me to get my hands on it. That's what I hope. So please welcome to the stage Panasonic's European Manager of Digital Imaging, Sebastian Drabat. Thank you, please. See, I already got goose pimples because I can't wait for what you got in store for me. Uh, wait, 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 what you got in store for us here, of course, for us. Well, Patrice, you saw that we're changing the photography market in three different areas, and I know that all of you in this audience are after a good story today. And, well, today I'd like to give everyone in the room three good stories. Three good stories? Yes, three good stories. Basically, we have a new mirrorless camera, system camera in the red zone, a new high-end compact camera in the yellow zone, and a real surprise in the green connected zone. Which you stand right in front of me. Great, so... Yeah, thanks, Patrice. Um, and thank you. I got it. I'll be back. Yeah, he's always like this. Anyway, um, when we launched our Lumix G range back in 2008, we brought the first mirror-free camera to market, and we have been pushing the boundaries of this technology ever since. At Panasonic, we first listened to you, then challenged our technology and implemented the changes that you all have asked for. Well, here's a good example. You are all really thrilled with the world's smallest interchangeable lens camera, our stylish GM1, right? But you wanted to see more. Now today, allow me to present to you our latest GM, 
Now with a live viewfinder which makes it the world's smallest of its kind. So even though it includes both an LDF and a hot shoe, we've managed to keep the size down to a minimum while still maintaining the high performance our DSLMs are famous for. What's more, the contrast AF system found across our Lumix G range helps the cameras to outperform many DSLRs in terms of AF speed and accuracy. But how good is such a small camera if you have to use big lenses? Well, we thought about that too. You know how big a normal 70 to 200 millimeter lens normally is, don't you? You do. Uh, well, here's our version, the new 35 to 100 millimeter Lumix G Vario lens, a lens to always have with you. And you can also expect to see a 30 millimeter f2.8 macro lens available in the first quarter of next year. Now, before I carry on with our other two uh, announcements, I'd like to introduce a guy who's been using our latest G, prior to the GM5, to take impressive pictures and produce inspiring 4K video. Please welcome to the stage aerial photographer Ferdinand Wolf. Skynamic, we realized challenging aerial cinematography and photography projects for customers like Red Bull, BMW, Mercedes-Benz and many, many more all over the world using copters like this. So today I want to show you why we, up to 90% of our jobs, fly with the GH4. It's a great camera and I will demonstrate why we think it's an excellent and currently the best camera on the market for aerial photography. So, as I just mentioned, photography and cinematography, both worlds. And with the GH4, you get a professional still image camera which is able to capture raw images and a video camera with very professional features like focus peaking, 4K video, 96 frames slow motion, and bit rates up to 200 Mbits in one body. So Panasonic really paid great attention to integrate both worlds professionally in this small body. The body is my next point. It's very compact and lightweight, as you can see. So it's not only compact and lightweight, if you compare it to other cameras which are popular for taking pictures and videos, see it's only half of the weight, but it's also built to work in extreme conditions. At our daily job, we face very tough and rough environments, and I've prepared a small video to show you that.
as you can see, it gets wet, it gets cold, it gets hot, it gets dirty, but we like it, I love my job. So we never had a single failure since we used the GH4 and we even had the pre-production models on our copters flying. Never had a single issue with it. So let's come to another key aspect of the GH4. As you all know, it uses the Micro Four Thirds bayonet. This mount enables us to use a huge variety of great lenses. As you can see here, one of my favorite lenses, which I attached to this copter here, is the Leica 50mm. <coughs> Got it over here. Great lens. So the lenses are very lightweight in filming on ground. We have to lift the whole camera system in the air. So with every gram you add to the camera system, lens and body, you have to get a bigger gimbal which stabilizes the camera to get smooth footage. With a bigger gimbal and a bigger camera, you need stronger motors, you need larger propellers, and your frame gets bigger. And of course, it will reduce your flight time if you have a heavier copter. So what's the big advantage of having a small copter? There are several. So, obviously, a small copter is less cost intense. Weight is a key factor on a copter and complexity as well. We want to keep it simple, we want to keep it light. So, great feature that we can record internal. Another great benefit that comes with 4K, has been stressed already several times in the presentations before me, is that we can extract 8 megapixel still images from our videos. So now you could argue, I just told that this is a great still camera as well, with raw support and everything. Yes, it is, but there are situations in the real world where you don't have the chance to do both flights, a still photography flight and a video flight. Let's take a scene from an action movie as an example, where a car falls down, and as you heard, we have very, very... Um, Sophisticated customers which ask for great picture quality because the whole production is filmed on very expensive cameras. And with the GH4, we are very, very happy to deliver our customers an excellent picture. To show you the picture quality of the GH4, I prepared some scenes out of our new showreel, which will be released later on this year. And please have a look. Camera you've all been waiting for, 
the Lumix LX100.
that's easy to use. It has an incredible lens and sensor combination. And gives you manual control over the most important features. The latest 4K video technology in your pocket. And now, lets you instantly share what you experience with everyone. CM1, a new way to see the world. Panasonic. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen the world's first communication camera with a one inch sensor. The biggest sensor of any product of its kind. And of course, you can also use this camera as a phone with the latest Android 4.4 operating system. What's more, our Venus engine enables you to capture everything in stunning 4K quality. So whether your interests lay in DSLM, high-end compacts, or communication cameras, Panasonic has brought you new technology to demonstrate how we are const how we're const constantly innovating in all these areas of photography, and so literally changing photography, possibly forever. Now I would like to thank you and uh, invite you to enjoy your time with us at Photokina and uh, wish you a good stay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Uh, that's incredible. The GM5 looks uh, very stylish, and I know many of you are going to be excited about the LX100. And I think I need it when I go out in the evening and I need a comic for regular light photos. And the CM1, thank you so much right now. Uh, well, what, what can I say? It goes out without saying that you need to check these devices out for yourself. You're all welcome to come to the Panasonic booth at Hall 3.2 and get your hands on these. Uh, that's where I'm going to be going. And now, don't forget to hang out to your Panasonic press kit vouchers. Remember these black cards, and you will receive Panasonic's 4K SD card with all today's latest information on it. So, on behalf of Panasonic, thank you again for joining us in Cologne today, and we're looking forward to seeing you on the stand later. Thank you very much, Vielen Dank, and have fun here at the Kina. And now, it's too bad to just got one CM1. <laughs> Should I give it too much? All right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oops. Oh. Yeah. Well, let me let me try to hold it this way, otherwise it would fall. Apart. Okay, good. All right. Thank you. No spatula. Everything is going to be on the card. You you receive one of these these vouchers, the black. Well, it's not for sale because these are no, the tight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. These models are going to be here, but yeah. it's not going to be out as far as I know, not by tomorrow, but uh, it's ready to use. Ah, okay. And, and it's pretty soon available, not like. Uh, that's uh, something you need to ask the person because okay. I don't want to get killed <laughs> giving you like, out some of information. Course. Of yeah. course, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oops. Again. But it has an impressive one inch mass sensor in it. And that's what really makes this machine so special. All of it should be on the uh, on the SD card, which you're just about to get when you get out. Okay, good. Remember the black card. Oh, please, I'm too shy. Sorry, no cameras, please. 